My name is Matthias Klum. I'm a filmmaker and photographer from National Geographic. Well, having traveled for 25 years on all continents, I've seen amazing biodiversity, amazing cultural diversity as well. But we haven't handled our planet well. And we all know that, I'm sure. This place now looks like this. This looks like something out of Lord of the Rings, but this is not Peter Jackson's fantasy. This is now. Because we want to buy potato chips, we want to buy cookies, we want to buy softeners for plastic, we want to buy fuels that people label eco-fuels if we're not careful. Sveriges miljömäktigaste 2012. We live on a human-dominated planet, putting unprecedented pressure on the systems on Earth. This is bad news, but perhaps surprising to you, it's also part of the good news. We're the first generation, thanks to science, to be informed that we may be undermining the stability and the ability of planet Earth to support human development as we know it. It's also good news because the planetary risks we're facing are so large that business as usual is not an option. In fact, we're in a phase where transformative change is necessary, which opens the window for innovation, for new ideas and new paradigms. We may, in fact, have entered a new geological era, the Anthropocene, where humans are the predominant driver of change at a planetary level. It's very important at this stage to feel how serious it is, how far down the road we are and how incredibly important it is to act both on the local scene but even more importantly on a global scale. Just 30 years back we in fact did not have the evidence that we were threatening the planetary system. There were warnings, a few, but today the knowledge is so overwhelming but nobody has really put it together into one coherent story that can be communicated in a broader way. This is, in fact, the first time it's done. It's a good summary of where we stand today in terms of the state of human pressures on the planet. But then it also tries to communicate this complexity in ways that looks forward, and not only diagnosing the problems, but also looking at what are the opportunities. For example, what are the opportunities to feed the world through sustainable food production systems? And can we protect biodiversity on the planet while still securing human development. And we're putting forward examples on the ground based on real on the ground experience that we both represent to support evidence that such transitions are possible. By juxtaposing science with art, photography, storytelling, we hope that we can bridge the gap between brain, intellectual capacity and heart, emotional capacity if you may, to make it relevant to each and every one of us that it's really up to us, regardless of platform in life, to make this paradigm shift. Normally when you describe the science of, of the negative changes and the risks we're facing, you're normally left defeatist or, or in despair. But what we're trying to convey is that we're the first generation to know that we are capable of destroying our own life support systems. But it must mean that we're in the driving seat. And in the Anthropocene, it's we humans who cause the problems, and therefore we humans are the only ones that can solve the problems.